John Ellis Ministries, in association with the Living Water Environmental Foundation, presents The Making of Deuterium Depleted Water, the purest water on earth. After graduating from the Choate School and Lafayette College with a degree in engineering with an emphasis on steam plant design, John Ellis had the best discus throw in the world in 1957. John Ellis was an engineer in Honeywell and Douglas Aerospace with top secret clearance, inventing switches that keep our planes safe even today. John Ellis perfected the distillation and purification of water with the creation of the Electron 4 and Electron 5 water machines, the world's first and only repurifying redistillers. These machines will change the properties of your tap or well water, producing thousands of life-saving results. Today, you have the opportunity to try the most patented distiller in America, a distiller that allows plenty of destruction time to kill all the viruses and pathogens, creating the best water money can buy. There are more impurities in your water than you think. Well, when you flush the toilet, you're flushing everything down that toilet. All the drugs you're taking, all the diseases you have, all the disease markers go down into the groundwater. Now, they don't just disappear. Eventually, that ends up into the municipal water system. And that's why the Associated Press called me a few years ago about that. And they did their own test. And they picked a city supposed to have great drinking water. It was in USA Today, in fact. 56 drugs in the drinking water. 41 million people didn't even know it. And then every city they tested was loaded with these drugs. Every glass of water that you drink and every bottle of water has deuterium in it. It's a major cause of aging and cancer. This machine here makes deuterium depleted water. It does that by heating and cooling. Water goes from the boiler to the tank, back and forth, over and over and over again, hundreds of times per gallon. Regular products don't do that. Years ago, I was reading a book about the alchemists. They're the fathers of modern chemistry. And that book said that heating and cooling water produces mystical qualities. And with my engineering background, I was able to create this machine. There are thousands of benefits to the distilled water from this machine. Because ordinary distilled water, the water goes to the machine once. Here it's going through hundreds of times. And that's how you make deuterium depleted water. Now the way the machine works, this boiler here is connected to that tank where there's a condensing coil with a little boiler feeder tube, so the water's free to go back and forth. So when you fill it with water, it allows only about a cup and a half of water in the boiler at a time. There's a reason for that. A cup and a half of water isn't much water. Put a cup and a half of water in a saucepan, turn it on the stove, because it's not much water, it's gonna boil over, it's gonna froth. So in the boiler, this is important, you're frothing to the surface. Your viruses, your bacteria, your drugs, the markers, whatever disease they're looking for in a blood test, to the surface. Then you hit it with high intensity UV and heat. But you're not doing it once, three times a minute, hundreds of times for every gallon you're making. And when you first fill it with cold water, especially, if you look down, you can see the water, the boiling water come out of the boiler, through the boiler feeder tube into the tank because it leaves a trace. Then the pressure drops to zero, then it refills again. The process repeats. Now as the steam rises, it goes through the condensing coil after being through this process. And then the cold water coming in from the faucet, because it's colder, it's heavier, it's denser. That goes to the bottom of the tank. That goes back and forth through the boiler. The only one that gets hot enough rise to the top and goes through the overflow. Now normally when you're running the machine, when it's full of water, you have this valve over here on the slowest steady run you can make. A little more than a drip, but the slowest steady run you can make. Then if you want to, it's up to you. Turn up the flow, 10 gallons an hour, 240 gallons a day. And that's the water you can read about because you can make it so much faster. That's the water they use on wells. We have three letters from LaSalle, Colorado, where they had a five-acre waste lagoon, 10.5 million gallons of E. coli that smelled for a mile. 
They're paying $10,000 a day in fines to the state because of it. None of the treatment companies could fix it. In fact, they said it was untreatable. And I'm sure they didn't think this would work, but what they finally did, they took the cooling water and they sprayed 1,000 gallons on the surface of the five acres. Then they waited 24 hours because of the cascading effect. Smell gone, saved them millions. Didn't have to build a waste treatment plant. Now here's why. Fulvic acid, it's a human nutrient. But farmers would call us and say, you know, if we use your water, we can spray fulvic acid on the crops. And the fulvic acid was staying in suspension. That's why LaSalle, Colorado saved $150,000 in dredging costs because it kept the solids in suspension so they could just flush it right out of the lagoon. A young girl in Ohio with her father making the water did over 200 wells using only 10 gallons of the cooling water in each well. It changes the properties of the water that's in the aquifer. And every municipality should be using this so that people can drink healthy water right out of the tap. Even Dole Foods used my technology because of mold spores destroying the banana plantations. First, they used a chemical, injured thousands of workers, men sterile, millions in lawsuits. So they tested my water. We kept sending them water over a nine month period. And every time it came back with positive results, finally, they called us and wanted to know what was in the water. We told them it's just water. They couldn't believe it was just water. And then they finally sent me a seven page contract, but I never signed it because they wanted full rights to it. And I wouldn't be able to help all my other customers. But it shows the power. The machine's small. But look at the power of what it will do. OK, when I first designed this machine with the heating and cooling, the reason I was doing that was to make pure water. So I sent five machines to York Labs in Connecticut for testing. And every single one of them made pure water and the standard for pure water. The standard for pure water is 0.1 parts per million total solids. And the results came down as low as they could read. 57.91 down to less than 0.07 parts per million. That's better than the standard for pure water. And when that happened, the scientists that work at Corning called me about it. They said, you know, your water tests are better than ours. How did you do that? And I told them by starting and stopping the boiling to stop the pollutant carryover. And they said, oh, and that's a great way to get rid of the organics. It was the heating and the cooling producing DDW, deuterium depleted water. That's what that machine does. And that's why the results are the way they are. In 127.92, there was an article that appeared in the Washington Post. 10,000 people a day were going to Lakota, Mexico. The man had bought four of our machines. He's running all the cooling water into his well. So he started giving the water away for free, curing cancer, diabetes. It's all in that article. So in the article, they mentioned about quote unquote light water. That's deuterium depleted water. That's what our machines make. We're the only ones in the world that do that. After the Washington Post article came out, a man that taught at the UCLA Medical School was doing independent blood flow research. His name was Dr. Guy Abraham, MD. So he bought an E5 machine and he called me up and he said, you can't argue with something you can measure. We can measure the ability of blood, 94% water, to go through a membrane into the cells to the extremities. Nothing's even close to your water. And I told him we knew it already. Diabetics saving their feet from amputation, MS, cancer. And then he called back, your hydrogen bond diagonal, you change the properties of water. It's 10 degrees greater than ordinary water. No wonder we're getting all these results. By changing the hydrogen bond diagonal in water now, we're getting better blood flow to the extremity. Now, right after Dr. Abraham did these tests, because he's so well known, he bought five more machines. And then we put it in ads in the Washington Times newspaper. So a man from Los Alamos Nuclear Lab, their top scientist, he got five PhDs after his name. He called John Spokes, who's the ad manager of the Washington Times, and said, you've got somebody advertising in your publication that's impossible. He said, well, you call John if you decide what he's doing is impossible, he won't advertise here anymore. So he called me up, ordered an E5 machine, then he called John Spokes back and said, 
He did change the hydrogen bond dying on water, and I'm even embarrassed to tell you that. And we wish we owned his patents. It's all about blood flow, and you can measure it, and nobody can argue with it. We receive a lot of calls about diabetes. It's an epidemic. Everybody seems to be getting it. A man called me years ago, diabetic, and he said he woke up one morning, and overnight, his foot turned black. By the time he got the machine, he was scheduled for surgery one week later. He was so nervous, he said, I drank your water like crazy, and I soaked my foot in your water while I watched television. Because by changing the properties of water, the water will go right through the skin. Ordinary water won't do that. Finally, when his foot turned rosy pink, he called me up crying on the phone. You saved my foot. You saved my foot. Why did they all lie to me? I would have lost my foot. How about Alzheimer's? It gets blood flow to the brain. How about prostate cancer? Men can't urinate ordinary water. The germs collect in the prostate. They end up with prostate cancer. This water goes right through. You change the properties of water. A little over a year ago, a man called me up and he said, you know, your machines cure cancer. So I said, well, how do you know that? He said, because I was an oncologist for 30 years and I retired from Sloan Kettering. They're probably the biggest in the world in cancer. And his name was Dalton Casella, MD, and his whole family are all oncologists. We received a letter recently from a man, 80 years old, heavy smoker for years, and they were going to remove one lobe from his lungs. So then they checked the other lobe, it had cancer also. So they couldn't remove both of them, they killed the poor guy. Now that's another case. They had no other choice. All he could do was drink the water. So he drank the water in two and a half months. The oncologist told him, no more cancer. And he thanked me for that. A few years ago, a doctor at a hospital in Africa ordered an E5 machine from us. And then he called to say, it's working on Ebola, both in and out of the hospital. A foundation down in Maryland sent a check for $20,000, sent more machines. And we sent it over there, and it worked. And maybe that's why you don't hear about Ebola anymore. It's because it's working. If you want to learn more about the benefits of drinking deuterium depleted water, all you have to do is go to the government website. And to do that, go to johnellis.com slash NIH. Click on the green. It'll go right to hundreds of studies of what this water will do. But also, what I've done, I've changed the properties of water which they haven't done. And you're gonna get phenomenal results out of it. Everything great comes from God. Otherwise, how can you explain what I've created? It's not in a textbook. I'm thinking outside the box. That's exactly what I'm doing. Now in the Bible, before the flood, look how long they lived. After the flood, they didn't live as long. So it probably was because the amount of deuterium that's in the water, because we know today it causes aging and cancer. And my 87th year, and I feel great. I lift weights, I run, I do whatever I want to do. And everybody can do that. And I invented this machine for my own use. But then everybody wanted one. And now we sell them all over the world. We can help people in third world countries who desperately need these machines. And the Ebola situation is just one of them. Now this machine recycles over and over and over again to allow plenty of destruction time. No other product in the market does that. There's 13 international patents on this. 332 FDA tests. Everybody needs one of these machines. John Ellis Ministries needs your help. So we can send these machines all over the world. I'm an engineer, I'm not a doctor, but I have common sense. Everybody needs one of these machines, and so do you.